opening week of The Seagull, a play that theater performers and goers might just call a masterpiece by Anton Chekhov. We have been hard at work and we're putting the finishing touches on our version with the Sting and Honey Company to share with you starting Friday. Joining me now are two of our cast members, Traven Call and Ryan Bailey. Welcome, friends. Hello. Thank you for having us. <laughs> are you tired? Are you as tired as I am today? Exhausted. <laughs> just feeling all the feels. <laughs> Wild rehearsal for us. Us. It's yes. been fast and furious, and we move into our space tonight to do tech, to do costumes, and get this thing ready to open on Friday. But let's tell viewers a little bit about what the seagull is. And Ryan, I want to start with you as Nina, such an iconic character. Describe a little bit about her and kind of your point of view as Nina and an actress from the stage. Yeah, I mean, Nina has been a dream character to play for a long time, so I'm really, really excited to portray her. I think a lot of people relate to the youthful feeling of yearning for wanting something that you don't quite understand or that, that you think will be everything you dream it's going to be. And then kind of slowly learning and growing and discovering that's m maybe not what you wanted all along. Oh, it's so beautiful. These two are such stunning actors. And I also <laughs> wanted to share a note from our director, Javin Tanner, and the way he describes what this piece is about, written in in 1895, he says, The Seagull marks the beginning of modern drama. Through laughter and tears, suffering and beauty, Chekhov taps into the deepest parts of what makes us human. Every character is capable of resonating with every audience member in some way. Chekhov shows us ourselves without criticism. Like Shakespeare, he loves humans. And Traven, jump in and tell us a little bit about Constantin, who you play, and what you think audiences will experience as they're watching all of these people on stage. Definitely. So Constantin is just a lost soul in yearning, very similar to Nina, but in a more frantic way. <laughs> and um, it's beautifully relatable to see someone so pure-heartedly seeking um, love and other meaning in the world. And so I think audiences will definitely relate to that and gather a sense of um, longing and yearning in themselves of noticing when they were young and they were madly in love with someone or something and, and then seeing how that plays out, whether we like it or not. And <laughs> <laughs> How would you two describe the tone of this play? Because I keep telling people you're going to be laughing yes. and you're going to cry. Yes. <laughs> Don't you think it's quite the roller coaster? I mean, we've been laughing hysterically in rehearsal. <laughs> and then the next moment, it's like ripping your heart out. Yeah, it, tears. It truly is. <laughs> it's, it's really comedic. And then you're astounded by how deep the meaning of something. And was. isn't it quite something when you see a piece that can do both to you within the course of those two hours? I think you get the full range of human emotion. You get the extremes of tragedy and the extremes of that's so outrageous. It's yeah. funny as <laughs> and what's really interesting about this piece, I mean, you'll see us in our 1895 <laughs> costumes, but it's not inaccessible. Mm -hmm. These characters are so deep and so interesting and gritty. You yeah. will relate to yes. one, two, maybe all of them. All. Don't and you think? I agree. The language is such that if you don't know anything about the show, you can show up and immediately be like dropped into the world and understand who they are and yeah. what they're talking about. There's something so unique about Chekhov and I don't feel like it's done locally enough. No. So you have to come and have your chance to experience this world. And it's tricky to talk about because we want you to be compelled to come, but yes. there's so much that we can't give away. My <laughs> character is Arkadina. She's a famous actress. And how would you two describe her? The best mom in the world. 